Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and one of the things I love about running this channel is bringing you guys new tools. New tools that are useful for game developers, for artists, you name it. And today I found a doozy of a tool. This is actually an animation combiner for Mixamo. And you're going to probably want to understand what Mixamo is before you can jump into this, but just know this makes it super easy to get multiple animated characters into your game engine of choice, into Blender or whatever. So start off, let's take a look at Mixamo. Mixamo was bought by Adobe, and amazingly enough, they, they haven't ruined it, and it's been years now. What it is is a giant collection of animations and characters you can apply those animations to. You can also upload characters, as you can see by this little button over here. So you can create your own character that then they rigify for you, and then you can apply their animations to it. So you can see this example. I've got uh, Maria here, the swordswoman character carrying a, well, sword. Um, and what I want to do is just go ahead and download just her. So come in here, go download, and we want the FBX T-Post, yeah, that's fine, and do a download. This will bring down the FBX file without the animations attached. And then what we want to do is start finding some animations for her. So over here, if you search for sword, you're going to find a lot of sword-specific animations. So things like casting, walking, idling, and so on. Just grab a couple of these, the ones that you're most interested in. So here's our idle animation. Um, maybe you've got a walk animation or a backwards walk animation. What you probably want to do for these, for if you're going to use it in a game, is toggle it to in place. And then once you've got the animations you want, just go ahead and click the download button. You're going to have to sign in for this, by the way. You're going to need an Adobe account, unfortunately. But otherwise, everything you see here should be free. Now, what we want to do for the animations, we just want the animation. So do this, FBX file without the skin. So it's going to make the file substantially smaller. Now, I've gone ahead and I've done this. So I have uh, a collection here. We have the FBX file. You can see right here, this is Maria with all of her texturing and all that stuff else going in the T-pose. No animations though. And then I grabbed three different animations for an idle animation, a slash animation, and a walk animation. Now you can come through and grab as many animations that you would possibly need for your character. Just start running them up, add them in, and just download each one individually. So once you've got all of those things, what we're going to do is head on over to our tool of the day. This is the Mixamo Character Animation Combiner. This is in the web, so you can find it here. Don't worry, I will link that in the linked article down below if you want to check this one out. So go here in your web browser. Obviously, you're going to want to have some kind of uh, WebGL support to get this to run. If it's not working, that is probably your issue. And you can see here we've got um, an animated T-Pose model to start with, with a bunch of different poses available. So, or uh, animations available that you can see right here. So what we're gonna do is get rid of all of that and we're gonna create our own. So first thing first, we'll upload our full fat T-posed model. We come up here, upload file. Uh, we go ahead and find the file. It's this one right here, 17 megabytes in size, and it is there. Hopefully their servers survive this and it doesn't get any slower because I'm really impressed by how fast all of this works. All right, so there you can see our character, well lit in a T-pose. You can use the left mouse button to to pan around and preview. Middle mouse button is the uh, scroll in and out. And then right mouse button is pan. So if you want to check your character out, you can do so. But what you're going to probably want to do at this point in time is start adding some animations in. So first things first, let's go ahead and we'll upload our animation. We're just going to do all of them. So here, great sword idle. And then boom, great sword idle is now there. We're going to do another file. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the slash. And then boom, slash is there. And then finally, we'll go ahead and do the walk animation. And the walk is there. So we can see here, there is our idle pose. There is her slash pose, which I forgot to do in place. So as you can see, she's she's kind of going off screen. Like so, like I said, you're going to probably want to make those animations in place if you can help it. And then finally, we have our walk pose, which I did do in place. All right, so there you go. We got three different animations for this character. Super, super, super easy at this point. So now what we want to do is export it. And uh, yeah, you know what you do? You click that button. That's it. Done. Uh, it's going to download. We pick where to save it. We don't want to open that uh, 29.6 megabyte GLTF file in Notepad. So let's go ahead and let that download. Again, their servers are really fast right now, which I appreciate. So now we've got that downloaded. How do we go ahead and use it? Well, for that, we are going to need Godot or any other game engine. You could bring this, anything that supports uh, GLTF files at this point. This is also GLB, by the way, is also uh, GLTF. It's just the binary format. It might be a little bit smaller. Heck, let's find out. All right, so I'll download the GLB version as well. All right, 22 versus 29. Yeah, so that the binary version is about uh, 8 megs smaller, uh, but also, oh, we'll let that open up in the 3D viewer so you can see it in action. So here is the binary version GLB file, and as you can see, 
it worked. Uh, now, I don't know if you can actually switch animations in this tool. So what we're going to do is show it in the game matches. Let me just fire up Godot. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So I am creating a project. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind you're doing, but you're obviously going to want a 3D project. So let's fire up a new project here. And let's get substance to go away. All right, so here we go. We are loaded up. My um, DPI settings are really high, it seems, on this particular monitor. So let's just ignore that. All right, so here we go. We'll go 3D scene. You see it right there. Now we got to bring this guy in. So I'm just going to go here, click the resource root folder, and say open in file manager. All right, so there we go. So now let's go back over to, let's say, our downloads folder, which is where we downloaded everything to. We'll do that by date modified. And there is our GLTF file. So now we just bring that over, the GLTF file we downloaded, and drop that into our project directory, which is right here. So all you do, drop that in. Godot is going to detect it and automatically import the GLTF file as well as the material file into the scene. This can take a, a little bit of time, but it's not too, too bad. All right, so there we go. So it is ready to go. We can drop one into the scene. Uh, you will notice she is quite big, and that is... That, that's a very personal shot we got going on there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and edit her. So yeah, go ahead, create a new edited one. So now we are in our particular scene. Uh, so I, one of the things I could do is grab my root node here, transform it, and we'll scale it down because by default, she's very big. There we go. So now we've got a much more reasonably sized. We could probably scale her down even more, probably 100-fold to get to the coordinates that you want. But that is a one-time process, nothing really big required there. So you can see she comes across perfectly. You've got all your texturing in place, but where it gets really impressive is let's go down here. Godot will automatically make an animation player for us. And you'll see here we have our animations. So we got slash. Ooh. Again, I forgot to make that one in place. Idle. So, and then finally, walk. And this is, in all honesty, 100% the easiest workflow I have yet seen for getting 3D animated characters into uh, uh, the Godot engine uh, like this. And, and it's amazing. Again, we could have added more and more and more animations to our base Mixamo project, and they would all be available for us. So we now could switch between the animations at any particular time that we wish. We do this, obviously, with code handle it accordingly, and boom, you have animated 3D character models in your world. Now, once again, you're also going to potentially have scenarios where you want to... All right, get back on screen, lady. Where'd you go? Get back here. Uh, what you could potentially want to do, again, is upload your own models to use with these Mixamo animations in the combiner. Uh, it should actually just work. So if you want to go here, you could upload it directly right here. Um, and hopefully your FBX character will be compatible with the Mixamo animations. But if that fails, what you can do, again, is come back to Mixamo itself upload your own character so you can drag and drop in a 3d file here and it will do auto rigging for you there's some details here on what auto rigging actually involves so you want to make sure that um your your uh, your mesh kind of matches to what they particularly want to see you know so they're looking for uh markers in place so once you've uploaded you basically say here's the elbow here's the wrist here's the knees here's the groin here's the face and it will do the rest for you it's not a really painful process and then once you've got that you can go ahead and download your own character that they've created upload it here you can also upload in gltf and gl binary formats here as well and then again all of the animations you want to put in there and the tool here, the Mixamo Character Animation Combiner, takes care of the rest for you and dumps out a GLTF file that is just, well, as you can see, where the proof in the pudding is for animation stuff or 3D exports and everything is how good the final result is, how much work you had to do. So did you get the texturing through? UV maps look right. Do animations work right? Are they named properly and all that? And as you can see from this process, it took literally seconds to get a fully animated character with three different sets of animations into Godot and working. And yeah, an impressive tool for sure. I've always been a fan of Mixamo. I'm amazed that Adobe haven't ruined it, to be honest. And this tool, this uh, combiner tool here, it makes it just that much better. Now, hopefully the online nature of this, the upload speeds stay what they are. Uh, and because it, it's really impressive. But hopefully we also one day see, um, you know, standalone versions of this or whatever, but a really powerful tool. And I highly recommend that you check it out. So details in the link down below. Uh, but what do you think of the Mixamo character animation combiner? Are you as impressed as I am? Let me know, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.